that was the first time we were like just like dead in the morning with coffee and sunglasses and having to play on the first round. <laughs> A good memory. It was uh, literally a few days before going to the to the Tchaikovsky competition. He was, yeah, so supportive, and he really sort of wanted to like give me more support and cheer me up for the whole competition. I was sending texts and was like commenting everything, and uh, yeah, like a bit of a big brother for the for the competition. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I think it was literally just after the the results. I remember her yellow scarf. I, I really have. Not a lot of memories of this moment. It was like complete blackouts, you know, the whole whole night was a bit surreal for me. It shows, I'm really not here. Oh, that, that was really nice. Yeah. I'm with uh, like few laureates uh, of the competition and with uh, Valery Gergiev and it's the first time I think I met him. Very enjoyable feeling for my first competition to know that actually it's not like in what we can imagine, people like trying to put laxative in coffees or stuff, so cut down people. <laughs> okay, that was... Uh, the most intense game of chess uh, on, on a boat uh, near Irkutsk uh, in Siberia. A good friend of mine who was uh, the, also in the Tchaikovsky competition, he was my roommate. So we had the whole competition together. It was like the first night we arrived. Uh, I think there was the next hotel room uh, had a very thin door and like we woke up at two in the morning and we heard like hugely loud sex and all night we couldn't stop it we sort of banged on the door called reception so that that was the first and we were like just like dead in the morning with coffee and sunglasses and having to play on the first round and yeah i had really great memories with him it's uh, <laughs> um at the eiffel tower concerts uh on the the 14th of july probably listening to some music before going on stage because i always do that it's the first time i felt like not doing a real classical concert because everything on the stage is telling about maybe like more like a rock concert so it was sort of i don't know felt like uh, getting into the spirit for like the live aid in Queen, so I listened to that before going on stage. It was uh, one hell of a night. We were all there at 7 p.m. and we didn't know the order. There was this loud voice that was in the, all the rooms saying, you're up in five minutes. And I thought at the beginning, maybe they would put me in the beginning. So I was really ready at 7 and then it went on and went on and went on. And then at, I think at 2 a.m. in the morning, I was like, I don't know, I had slept half, I tried to eat, I tried to practice, it was like a <laughs> total nightmare. I played on stage and just after, I didn't know, there was the proclamation of the, the Grand Prize. And I remember they didn't translate it, and they just said it in Russian and I didn't understand. I think on the photos I'm literally just like, okay, time. <laughs> and just after the stage they told me what happened and yeah, we had then the whole evening and we went back with the white nights at St. Petersburg. It was yeah, beautiful moment.